All right, Shalom. First off, and for most as always, I want to say, call Lame La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Call Lame La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. And double honor be unto the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach well. And of course, a big Shalom to you, Sensei Rakim out there, that's pushing his truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name. Of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Bashim Kakwadash. All right, so this lesson is going to be titled The Elect Are Unblameable. Okay, and without blemish. Okay, the elect are unblameable and without blemish. All right, and the reason why you know the elect are unblameable is because you know the, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Al Shai chose certain spirits, you know, to be the first fruits. You know, to be delivered, okay, to be the you know the uh the ones that are going to praise his name, you know, around this time they were living in, and call upon him, you know, and stand stiffly for his name, all right, his servants, their prophets, okay, and nobody right now besides the elect are doing what they're doing, you know, they're doing the will of the Lord, they're calling upon his name, you know, they're they keep the faith in his name. You know, and not and not, you know, uh, uh, and not trying to, you know, be over righteous with the law, you know, things like that, because even then, you know, the law, you know, hey, the, 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 uh, the laws of the Lord is very is beautiful is wisdom, you know, but the law is not going to save you. OK, faith will. OK, having faith in uh, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashmah Shai. All right. That's that's the whole reason why uh, Yahweh Shai. Excuse me. That's the whole reason why Yahweh sent Yahweh Shai to come, you know, uh, to to uh, to die for the nation of Israel, to be the ultimate sacrificial lamb. So that way, in these in these end days, we won't need you know um to sacrifice you know a a, a, a sheep you know or you know um, a ram if you will, okay, a goat. All right. That's why Yahweh Shai uh, came in, in 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 this flesh to you know to to uh to save us from our sins. If you will, okay, and that's why, and that's why now we repent in the names of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, okay. But the point is, you know, the elect are unblameable, okay. No matter what they do, no matter what you know uh, uh, happens to them, no matter what, these men are still the elect, okay. Because the scriptures say a righteous man falls seven times, but get back up again, okay. So no matter, you know, how many times the elect may make a mistake, excuse me, a, a mistake, you know, no matter how many times they may go through things, you know, but guess what? They're still the elect. OK, they're still the Lord's first fruits. All right. So uh, let's go to the book of Ephesians. Uh, where is my here? It is our right, book of Ephesians. <clears throat> Chapter one, starting at one, but the point is in verse four. OK, and it says, Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, by the will of the Most High, to the saints which are at Ephesus and to the faithful in Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Grace be, grace be to you and peace from the Most High, our Father, Yahweh, and from the Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Blessed be the blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings and heavenly places in Yahweh Shai. According, here's the point. According as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. Okay, so the elect, they've been chosen before the foundation of the world. Okay, okay. In the beginning. In the beginning of the beginning, if you will, okay. These, uh, these certain spirits have been chosen to be. The first fruits of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right. And to be chosen, you have to be picked. All right. Elected. That's why they're called the elect. And it says that we should be holy and without blame before him and love. Okay. Now, right here, I want to get the word blame. Okay. Because it, because it says without blame. And mind you, the elect have been chosen before the world. Was even you know uh, uh, created, if you will, okay. And where is it at? All right, he says, 
without blame. Strong's G 299. Amomas. 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 Okay. And the word blame or without blame, it says without blemish. All right. It says morally without blemish, faultless, unblameable. Okay. Now, now the, the uh, this lesson is called what? The elect are unblameable. Okay. The elect are without blemish. All right. And why is that? Because first and foremost, they're calling upon the names of Yahweh Bashim All right. They're not speaking, you know, any, you know, uh, um, a, a, a wrong doctrine, you know, they're not teaching anything, you know, that's, that's off, you know, they're uh, constantly, you know, doing the will of the Lord and being steadfast in the doctrine of Yahweh Shemal Shai, okay, constantly, uh, constantly being in, in the spirit of prophecy, all right, constantly uh, being in the spirit to, 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 to uh, teach and to edify, you know, and, and, uh, uh, and also to, to preach, you know, Yahweh Shai, okay, these are the ones that have no blemish, okay? Now, keep in mind, the word here says unblameable, all right? So, let's head um, to the to the uh, scripture of first, excuse me, first Thessalonians, uh, let me see, three and verse 13, okay? And it says, I'll start at 12 and it says, and the Lord make you to increase and abound in love one toward another and toward all men, even as we do toward you. To the end, he may, he may, he may establish your hearts unblameable in holiness before the Most High, even our Father, Yahweh, at the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, with all his saints. Okay, now right here it says what? To the end, he may establish your hearts unblameable in holiness before the Most High. Okay, now... What did it say in Ephesians 1 and 4? It said, it said, it said, uh, without blame, which means what? Without blemish or unblameable. Okay, now if you look at the word unblameable, it, it really means the same thing. Okay, but here's the word right here. Strong's G 273, Amemtos. 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 Okay, and now the word unblameable, it means blameless, deserving no censure, Free from fault or defect. Okay, now real quick, let's look at the word deserving no no censure. All right, censure is spelled uh, C E N S U R E. All right. Now that term, deserving no censure. Or censure. Excuse me. Let's let's copy real quick. And that term means um, hold up, it's a lot here. All right, and that word censure means uh, to condemn. All right, and it says to express severe disapproval of someone or something, especially in a formal statement. Okay, but guess what it says right here? It says deserving no censure. Okay, so the elect, they're not going to, you know, be condemned. All right, now real quick, if you head to the, the book of Ezekiel, um, what's that, Ezekiel uh, 9 and 4. All right, it says this. And the Lord Yahweh Shemal Shai said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, okay, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry, free all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Now, who are these men that are sign of crying? Okay, the men that are sign of crying is who? The elect that are unblameable, or in other words, the men that are, that are going to, you know, uh, get uh, no censure. Okay, get no condemnation. All right. And being that they're not going to get condemned by, you know, Yahweh Shemal Shai. All right. If you go into the word Mark of Ezekiel 9 and 4. 
All right. Um, it means it's, it means uh, the why. Okay. Excuse me. Let me uh, back up real quick. Strong's H eighty four twenty. Tav. Tav. Now they got that wrong. Okay, the the word is uh, the why, and the Hebrew they got that wrong. Strong's H eighty four twenty seven, Tava. No, they they off on that one. But the word is uh for Mark and Ezekiel ninety four. It means it uh it, it says the why, but the word the why it means to be to be exempt for judgment. And actually, I read it right here. Now the meaning of the word um Mark. All right, in Ezekiel 94, it says desire, mark, and it says mark as a sign of exemption from judgment. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's look at the word exempt. Okay, the word exempt or, or exemption, it says immunity. All right, immunity. All right, so the elect, you know, they're, they, they have immunity of being, you know, uh, uh, of being going through harsh judgment, if you will. Okay, because why? Because they're without blemish. All right. They've been chosen. Uh, excuse me. They've been chosen before the foundation of the world. Okay. To be, you know, these certain spirits that are going to be set up to be not only, you know, uh, chosen, but, you know, to be delivered. Okay. To be delivered. All right. And to, and to, and to, and to not be condemned. All right. Now, let's go to the book of uh, Revelation. Uh, 14 and um, 4 and it says these are they which were not defiled with the women okay and this they is referring to the elect men of the Lord now when it says not defiled with the women it's talking about different doctrines okay it's talking about different you know uh, uh, different um different uh philosophies if you will all right, and the reason why they're not defiled is because they're only speaking, you know, the of uh, the gospel and, and, and preaching the names of, of Yahweh by Shmuel Shai. Okay, they're not speaking no wayward doctrine. They're not speaking, you know, anything that's not according to scriptures. Okay, they're sticking to the script of Yahweh by Shmuel Shai, and that's all. Okay, and just like Yahweh Shai said, it not it's uh it's not what goes in the man that, that defiles him. It will um uh, it um. Uh, Excuse me. It's not what goes in a man that, that defiles him. It's what goes out of man. And basically how Shai meant, you know, the, the things you speak as far as different doctrines, you know, calling upon different names and whatnot, you know, and, and just speaking, you know, left field things that makes you defiled spiritually. OK. And honestly, that's what that, that's spiritual fornication. OK. That you're committing, you know, against you. How about Shmuel Shai? All right. Now it says, um. For they are virgins, right? They are virgins, meaning what? Now, 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 does that mean that we're actual virgins? That we're ha that we haven't had, you know, sex, you know, you know, uh, uh in, in that manner, you know, slaki. I mean, it sounds straightforward, but you got Christians. They think that let's talk about that. No, this is in a spiritual sense. Okay, meaning what? Meaning, excuse me, slaki. My bad, slaki. Saying that present itself. All right, but it means that they have. That they have only spoken, you know, one 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 particular doctrine, and that's the, the doctrine of Yahweh Bashmal Shai. All right, and it says, "These are they which follow the Lamb." Uh, um, excuse me, says uh, the Lamb, whithersoever he goeth, these were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the Most High Yahweh and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault. Before the throne of the Most High, Yahweh Bashmal Shai, right, man? They're they're without fault. They they were they are without ble uh, uh, um blemish, okay, without defect, all right. So these these men, the elect men of Yahweh Bashmal Shai, all right, they're good regardless, okay. And guess what? In in, in these last days, you, uh, all right, people are gonna be uh, people are gonna see the uh the strangeness, okay, of the salvation of the Lord's uh, people. All right, starting off with the elect, followed by the one third of the of the men, women, and children. Okay, so that being said, I just want to say, call on La Yahweh by Shmuel Shai by Shirin Kakodash and Lord's Will. This lesson was edifying to you, sensor uh, Ankim, and and you feel sisters that may be watching. With that being said, Shalom.